Hi and welcome to Santa Monica, California here in Los Angeles. If you've been thinking about moving to LA and Cal uh, Santa Monica is one of the cities that you're thinking of moving to, well then this video is for you. We're going to talk about incomes, we're going to talk about some of the houses, we're going to talk about what Santa Monica offers. So to start off with, population here is just a little bit over 93,000. The median household income is 110,000, while the average household income is 170,000. A median house to purchase here in Santa Monica is $1,655,000. Now that's according to our niche.com information. And if you stick around till this to the end of this video, I'm going to take you through three different homes. We're going to go look at three homes in different price ranges in different areas of Santa Monica so you can figure out what works best for you. So hang around. Let's go do that now. Hi, I'm Lori Lynn Thaler and I'm with Living in Los Angeles. Now, if you've been thinking about moving to Los Angeles, specific Santa Monica, whether you're moving in nine or 90 days, reach out to us. Let us help you make a smooth move here. All our information is in the about section. Our text, our email, or our phone numbers are there. So let's talk a little bit about Santa Monica, California. As I said earlier, there's a population here of 93,000. The median household income is 110,000 and the average household income is 170,000. So your median home price is gonna be $1.655 million. Now Santa Monica's got um, some awesome, awesome aspects about it. Yes, it is uh, expensive to live here, but you've got, uh, what offsets that is great dining, great outdoor activities. This town's very, very much into wellness and health. Take a look here. At any time during the day, at your PCH down there, there's the pier. But anytime during the day, you're gonna find people down here on the beach working out, getting healthy, it's outdoors. You've got a bike path down there. You've got a walking path. There's your Santa Monica Mountains. That's uh, Malibu, that's Pacific Palisades, and it goes on up to Ventura County. As I said, here's the PCH, or also known as the One. Beautiful here. A lot to do here, which offsets that high cost. Also, a lot of people here don't have air conditioning, so they don't have high electrical bills because they have this great ocean breeze. And the breeze comes through and cools their homes off. Now, another not so fun fact about Santa Monica is the traffic. Guys, you just saw this beautiful beach here. Why wouldn't you want to come to the beach? I mean, year round, even when it's cloudy, which in May and June, we have what's called May Gray brings June gloom. It is the marine layer that comes in. We're on the coastline. It does come in, but who wouldn't want to be here? So traffic gets a little bit ugly. People come in from uh, all over LA to cool off and enjoy you know, a free day at the beach. Uh, speaking of free, yes, you do have parking. You can pay for, but guess what? The Metro Expo line dead ends here into Santa Monica. So you can get your family or your friends, put everything in your backpack and get your chairs, get on the Metro train, come on down here. And therefore you don't have to pay for parking. Now that Metro train also takes you anywhere in Los Angeles you wanna go. Currently they're working on the line going into LAX airport. And it does go to our, where our sports area in Inglewood, that's the SoFi Stadium. You've got the Intuit Dome there. You've got the forum where they have a lot of concerts. Now, every city has theft. You can't go anywhere that you're not gonna have it. And there's different categories of theft. So Santa Monica, the, the highest category for percentage for theft in Santa Monica is property crime. They also do have homelessness. Everybody's got homelessness. Homelessness, uh, you're gonna not find that not in any city, but if you're homeless, why wouldn't you want to come to Santa Monica? Look how beautiful. There's a lot of churches and a lot of places that also will feed you. So I want to read to you so that I get it correctly. What just came down on the Santa Monica.gov website about what they're doing for homelessness. Let me find that article. 
So as I said, according to SantaMonica.gov, the Santa Monica City Council did approve a design concept for the development. It includes a mix of studio, one, two, and three bedroom apartments along with uh, ground floor retail and residential commercial parking spaces. Folks, that's 120 affordable apartments. It's just not for homeless people. It's for low income to be able to afford to live here. That also includes 50 supportive services and they're all, it's all going to be located at the city owned site on 4th Street. Per the council directions, staff is exploring the feasibility of adding an additional floor of apartments and we return to the council for final approval of a ground lease and development and disposition agreement. Guys, this city is focusing on helping getting the homeless off the street and helping low income people be able to afford to live in this beautiful, beautiful area. Now some great benefits of living here and we will have a pros and cons video so look for that as well. But one of the great benefits here is the farmer's market. Now that farmer's market is held on Wednesdays and Saturdays. You've got local farmers from all around uh, Southern California that will bring all their great produce here and they sell it. Prices are really good. I shop there an awful lot. You do have great restaurant, um, great other grocery stores here. You do have Whole Foods, you do have Trader Joe's, you do have Air One. But if you want to help support local businesses and get great fresh produce, you want to come out for that. And it's located on the Third Street Promenade, where you've got a lot of outdoor shopping and you've got um, a nice small outdoor mall as well. You guys, in talking about our farmer's market and some of our grocery stores here, everything pretty much is walkable from all the neighborhoods. I will tell you, there's not a lot of huge chain stores here. You know, you have, a, I think, one TJ Maxx, a couple Targets, and they're adding to that, but pretty much you have nothing but a lot of boutique stores that are in Santa Monica, and that's kind of what makes it a little bit different. So Santa Monica is located dead off the 10 to West Freeway, right into the Pacific Ocean. Can't go any further, guys. Go right into the sand and to the ocean. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, we've got some great helicopters out here. They're not search helicopters, but you do get a lot of traffic out here, and it's kind of fun to watch and see what's going on. Camp Pendleton's a couple hours south of us, and a lot of times you'll see a lot of their aircraft going through here. See, there, there's a lot of entertainment here. So you have UCLA campus, Go Bruins. It's about seven miles north from us. If you, uh, right near that is the Veterans uh, Memorial, Veterans Medical Center. That's where they house the vets, the hospital's there, it's awesome. If you were to go to USC, can't leave out USC, it's downtown LA. It is east off of the 10 and it's about 12 miles. Then you have LAX Airport, which is about 15 miles south down the 405 from where we are. And guys, the Metro train as I said earlier, does take you down to the airport. Well, actually that's gonna be happening within about a year from now. Now, according to niche.com and greatschools.com, public schools here in Santa Monica are A plus. And we do have a video about the schools that you can learn about which neighborhoods uh, focus on are, which are the designated schools for each neighborhood. So look for that neighborhood video and the school video. Now, there are eight neighborhoods here and we're gonna go to three different neighborhoods and look at three different homes in different prices. One of them, we're gonna get to actually go through the home and learn a little bit about it. So let's take off and go do that now. Okay, here we are at our first home in Santa Monica. The home is a three bedroom, two bath, just a little bit over 1,400 square feet and it lists for just under $1.8 million. And in a minute, we're gonna go in and we're gonna tour through the home. But first, let's look at the neighborhood. We are actually two miles from the Venice Beach, Venice Pier. Go the other direction, we are two miles from the 10 Freeway. That is where Pico, let me show that to you. This is the street that goes up to Pico Boulevard. There you're going to find a lot of restaurants like Gilbert's. It's a Mexican restaurant that's really good. You've got some Turkish restaurants up there. You've got Whole Foods 365 Market there. Uh, and it's from there, you're just another, not even a quarter of a mile from the 10 freeway. 
Now here's the Santa Monica Airport. As you can see, it is right here as well. There's a lot of great events that go on at the airport. I've been to several. There's a great dog park there if you uh, have dogs. Uh, there's clothing sales there. There's antique sales. There's all kinds of great events that go on there. So let's walk down the other way. Oh, speaking of doggies. Hi. Hi, puppy. <laughs> so going down the other direction is Penmark Golf Course. It is a small golf course. They also have a restaurant there. It's Penmark Coffee Shop. I've been there several times. They have a really good breakfast, and it's a very affordable breakfast. And they started a few years ago having an outdoor concert. Now, it's very small. It's not huge. It's great. It's under the stars. It's relaxing. Anybody can go to it, and I think you would really enjoy it. So you're just walking distance. Now, as I said, you can see most of the homes are on the other side of the street. And this is not a major street, so you're not going to have a lot of traffic. And the reason for only a few homes on the same side that we're on is because here is the golf course. This golf course is also known for when Harrison Ford uh, had to have an emergency landing and land plane in here. One of those cool old looking planes. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, but that's the golf course. And then we walk back over. Here's the little walking trail that I told you about. Just go and walk down. As you see, we just ran into somebody taking their puppy dog up here to the park. Okay, so let's go in and let's take a look at the home. As you can see, here's a cute little front yard. There's a one-car garage. Maybe two. I'll have to go in and see if it's tandem. Beautiful front door, beautiful entryway. There I am. Hi. Wow, this is gorgeous. And with all the noise outside, do you hear anything? Not really. So this is what you walk into. Beautiful room. Look at these hardwood floors. They're original. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is a beautiful house. It's been taken care of. Had some nice renovation to it. Beautiful. You go straight in here into your kitchen. A lot of light, a lot of little touches to it, personal touches. I don't think that's for shoes. I think that's for wine or champagne or even non-alcoholic. Great kitchen, beautiful area. It's laid out so well. Let's go into the other rooms. Nice doors on all the rooms. Here's the first bedrooms. Very nice. Got your table outlet there if you need so, or your HDMI. Nice closets. Take, uh, uh, look at that. Automatic lights. Very nice. There's your HVAC. Let's walk through to uh, another room. Here's your laundry area. Great spot right outside the bedroom in the hallways. Oh my goodness, look at this. Is that not fat hills to walk into? I absolutely love these kind of windows that are above the bed. Therefore, you got a lot of privacy, but you're still getting a lot of light. Goes out onto the deck. Let's walk out to that bed. Beautiful area. We'll go out there on the deck coming in the other direction. Here's your primary closet. Very nice, very large. This home is absolutely beautiful. It's done so nice. Oh, look at this built in. Isn't that super, super sweet? It's a desk. Built in desk. Therefore, you don't have to take one of your rooms and turn it into an office. You've got it right here. Let's go into the bathroom. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this bathroom. Absolutely fabulous. Nice sunken jacuzzi. Got a beautiful shower. 
Again, here's one of those great windows that gives you great privacy, but gives you light at the same time. Those are my favorite. All right, let's go back out and go into the next rooms. I think we've got one more room in this house. It's a long hallway. And here's your guest bathroom. It's a very nice guest bathroom. You've done so many great upgrades on it. Um, it's gorgeous. And here's another bedroom. It's actually a good size. Doesn't have one of my favorite windows in. That's okay. Got a nice closet there as well. This is a very large room. Look at the doors on all these rooms. These are beautiful doors. The owner's taken a lot of pride in this property. You've got even a privacy door here as well from the main bed, the bedrooms to the main room. And walking in here, let's go take a walk outside. Now I can tell right now that these doors, they are uh, soundproof, they're double pane, and that has to do with, do with the uh, airport here. Let's go take a look. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Great place to hang out in the evening. It's very private with all the shrubs around. You've got some grass area even for your animals. Beautiful job with the shrubbery. This goes over into, there's where your primary bedroom is. Very private, very gorgeous here. Just absolutely gorgeous. That's my problem. Being in real estate, I want to buy every single home that I walk into. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down here and just relax and think about, hey, what if I own this home? This is a beautiful home here in Santa Monica. Let's go look at the other ones. Okay, here we are at our second house. This house is a three bedroom, three bath, just a little bit over 2,300 square feet. And it's listed for just under $3.2 million. A really nice house we're not going to be on the tour but we'll do some pictures and i'll show you what it looks like inside but let's look at the neighborhood we are actually only less than a mile from the beach let's walk up there so you can see the area i don't know that we can get a good shot of the beach but like i said it's a 10 to a 15 minute walk also down this way is uh, main street it's a very popular street it's where you're going to find a lot of restaurants a lot of boutiques and there you go let's see if we can get a glimpse of that downtown area beach it's right now if you go this direction you're going to head on up to a uh, crossroads where you can go to the pch that's pacific coast highway it's it's also less than a mile you go this direction, that's going to be your south direction, like towards LAX, towards Rose Avenue, where you have a lot of eclectic restaurants as well. Turning back around, let's go down through the street where we were. You go this direction, you're going to run into a main street called Lincoln. Now, Lincoln does connect everything. It connects you to the 10 freeway. It connects you to Santa Monica College. It connects you to where the Santa Monica Police Department is, and downtown where the 3rd Street Promenade is, which we'll see in our neighborhood video. So this is a great area. There's a view of the house from the side. If you can see it a little bit better, there you go. Up high, you can see there's a nice deck on the top where they can sit and look at, uh, get the ocean breeze and look at everything. Another thing that you're going to find that's down towards the ocean this direction is a couple really uh, well-known restaurants, Shutters on the Beach, Casa Del Mar. You've got the Santa Monica Pier right down here. So, guys, you've got the ocean breeze. A lot of people here don't have, believe it or not, air conditioning because they're right on the ocean breeze and you don't need air conditioning at all. So there's a way of saving some money.
So let's skip over to our third home. Okay, so this house behind me is a four bedroom, four bath. It's just shy of 2,900 square feet and it's listed right under $5 million. It's a beautiful house. Look at, look at some pictures, but let's again talk about the neighborhood. So we're actually just less than one mile from the beach. This direction is where your beach is. Also, you've got the undercross that you can walk underneath the PCH uh, to keep you safe. You're gonna find several restaurants down there, such as the Golden Hole. We'll walk down through this way while we're talking about the neighborhood. As you can see, it's a very busy street. It is a one way on this side. Uh, it connects to, like I said, the PCH less than a half a mile. And that goes straight. You go um, a little bit more north, you're going to connect in to Pacific Palisades, where you'll find the Will Rogers State Park. Um, beautiful area of the Palisades, the Caruso Village is up there where you can do some shopping. It's a beautiful neighborhood, lots of trees, lots of gorgeous homes in the area. Going this direction, this takes you up to San Vicente, connect you also to uh, the back side of Santa Monica. You're up on 26th Avenue, connects you into Brentwood as well. Very nice neighborhood, a lot of trees. Very busy guys, it is a busy street, but this is a great peaceful place to be in the evenings. Nice and quiet because the street's not used as much then, but it is a back entrance from the back side of Santa Monica down to PCH. Take a look at the neighborhood. Guys, there's some gorgeous homes here. Very beautiful. You can see way up high. Your homes up there. Beautiful across the street. It's like somebody's doing some upgrades over there. Again, you've got great sidewalks. You can walk here down to the beach. Also right around the corner is also what's known as Santa Monica Stairs. Very famous. I've never done them. I don't know that I could get up and down them because I hear they're pretty hard. But um, it's a nice peaceful neighborhood, especially at nighttime. 